Hi everyone. Again, I know I basically just film, ooh sorry, I basically just film one day and do a bunch of videos. But right now I'm here to talk to you about, can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? A project polish. Yay! So, I don't know who started this. I know uh, Cherish from Pretty Pistol 86 has been doing amazing on hers. So I am envious of her progress. Cherish, I'm very envious. So I'm going to try and do the same thing. As you can see, I don't know how well this is going to work because I don't even have my nails polished right now. But I'm going to try and make more of an effort. So I picked out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven polishes, which may seem like a lot, but I want to have enough variety that I don't not use ones in the project. I'm not restricting myself to only using polishes in the in my project. I'm not restricting myself to that. However, at least four out of five of the times I polish my nails or toenails, they need to come from this jar because I have it in an old candle jar. So let's talk about these polishes. Let's start with my oldest one right here. This is Miami Beach. Sorry, that was really loud. This is from OPI and it is right under the the OPI part, right under that. So it's right about there. I don't know if I'll mark them or not because I would think with acetone it's going to come off anyway because it'll be around acetone and all that jazz. But anyway, I love this color. I adore it. It's right about down there. This is one of my older polishes. I think it looks great on my toes. I think it looks great on my nails. I feel like this is good for summer, fall, winter, spring. I don't really care. I don't really like spring polishes. I, I just think they look incredibly unflattering on me. But that's how it would look on my skin. I adore this polish. It's probably in my top three favorite polishes of all time. But this is kind of old. And because some of my other older polishes has been starting have been starting to go bad I want to try and make sure that I use that one up I really don't think this color will be a problem at all because I love this color especially in the summer especially on my toes it is just absolutely gorgeous so I'm totally fine with that the next one is this color which is, is this the right one yes this is Zoya Shelby so if you can kind of see the line of separation it's right there so I have used this several times. Most of these polishes are very full because I'm not good about polishing my nails. I'm hoping to become better though. So that is this color. Again, I think this is perfect for summer. That's probably more spring-like than Miami Beat. I enjoy it. I can wear it on my toes or my fingernails. I think it should be good. The next one is a very new one. I think I've only used it once. This is OPI A Roll in the Hague. Hog. I'm not really sure. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Uh, it's a bright orange. I think this will be great for summer. Great on my toes. This, again, I think I've only used it once, so it's very, very full. <laughs> That's okay. I thought it would just be a good summer one that was different from the other pinks and reds that I had chose, that I choose, that I've chosen. I need more coffee. I thought it would be a nice orange to complement the rest of my colors. The next color up is another pink, but this has a gold pearl to it. This is Zoya Happy. I've used this a couple times, so you can see it is down a little bit. Probably would not wear this on my toes. I am not a fan of shimmery polishes on my toes. At least not that I can remember. Um, I just think they look funny on my toes. It might be because my big toes have a little bit of ridges in them, and that looks weird. But, so it's like right about there. Like it's separated, but once it's mixed, it's right about there. So I'm going to try and use this one. And that's probably another good spring one as well. The next color is this dark color. This is a dark teal blue-green. It's Essie Dive Bar. I don't really like Essie polishes. I just, I can't seem to work with the formula very well. But I really love this color. It is gorgeous. Actually, this might be pretty on my toes, and this is a shimmer, so I take back what I said. I don't think that one will look pretty on my toes, but maybe this one will. It's gorgeous. I hate Essie formula, but I'm going to work with it for this one. And I just have to remind myself that unless the color is amazing, I should not be buying any Essie polishes. 
The next one is a pure red, leaning more on the tomato side of red. This is Zoya America. And I've used this several times actually. You can't see the line because I think it got shook up in the jar, but um, I think it's probably at least around here. This is on my toes right now, I believe. I've gotten on my toes a lot. It's a great pedicure color. It's great on the nails. It's I can use this in the fall. I can use it in the summer. It's a great color. I can use it in the winter. If this project is still going on in the winter, I can use this in the winter. Excuse me. I keep hiccuping or something. Um, my last one on my little wheelie deal is this one. This is a greenish, goldish, beautifulish color. This is OPI, just spotted the lizard. This is supposed to be a dupe for Chanel Peridot. I don't know if it is or not. I don't know the Chanel. Um, it's about, it's about down to here. Like I said, I've used this a couple times. Again, I don't think I like this on my toes, but this is a beautiful color. Spring, summer, fall, winter on my nails because it it gives that green, gold, is it a du duochrome? I don't think it's really a duochrome, but, and then if you do it sheer, or maybe with a white base, you can make it look more gold. So I just feel like this, it's a versatile polish. I enjoy it. Again, it, it's a little bit older. That collection, or when I bought it, I bought it right when the collection came out. So it's been a, a while. So that is it. Seven polishes. My goodness, what am I thinking? I have no idea. Please help support me on this, guys. I have an issue with nail polish. I love buying them, but I never do my nails. Like I just take them out and look at them, and they're not collectibles. <laughs> they can be to you. If that works for you, that's awesome. For me, though, I don't want that kind of collectibles because... I just don't really have the space for it. I don't like clutter. I'm trying to sort of move everything out and downsize. So I'm going to try and use these. I will probably put on maybe Miami Beat first because that's my favorite. I love that. Or maybe I'll put on Zoya Shelby because that's another pretty one too, that, that pink cream. So I'm going to be working on these. We'll see. It's definitely going to take me long then. Cherish because Cherish is amazing at going through things. Um, yeah, I, I know for sure it's going to take me a lot longer. And plus, most of these are really full, and I'm terrible at doing my nails. So if you guys can help me out, remind me. You can annoy me on Instagram or on comments here. Hey, did you do your nails? I nails done. Post a picture of my nails when you're done doing manicure. That'd be great. But you don't have to. No obligation. I'm just uh, being a little strange. Anyway, it was great talking to you guys. If you're doing a project polish, please let me know. Or if you think this is possible, do you think that this is possible in a year, two years, six months? How long do you think it's going to take me to do this? I don't know. I'm also going to try to not buy any nail polishes until I finish all of these. I really can't make any promises on that because I have no idea how long this is going to take me and I really enjoy buying nail polish. I just don't enjoy using it. So I need to work on that. But I'm really going to try very, very hard not to buy any nail polishes unless I can delude myself into thinking that I should. But I'm going to try not to. All right, enough rambling. Thank you and have a good night.